Hi everyone, I'm Phil, CEO and co-founder of Chalky. In this video, I'm going to show you how to edit your lesson. So here's a lesson I've made in a lesson series. This is on um, the solar system. So lesson two in the series that I've made, the planets and their features. The first thing you can do when it comes to editing is the obvious stuff. So you can change the text, you can change the size of the text, whether it's a title, whether it's a header. So we've got header two, title two, I'm going to change this to title one and make it a bit bolder, a bit bigger. I can make it bold, I can make it italic, I can underline it, I can change the text colors, and I can align it in different ways or make it a bullet point uh, or a numbered list. So that's just some obvious things that you can do with the app. So you can also highlight the text, click edit, and then we have edit with AI as a feature, which means you can just ask the AI to change it to whatever you would like. So I might just say, make it more fun and give me a better title for this. There we go, planet score. So that's much more fun and exciting for my class. Second thing I can do is change the images. So any image you see on a slide, you can just click swap. So I'll put solar system. Maybe I'll take this one. So this could be the image that I add in. Okay, so let's go into one of the factual slides. So if I have a link to a YouTube video, I can click and paste that link in and the uh, AI will create a slide with that YouTube video on. I can um, find some GIFs that fit for the uh, slide add shapes, images, text, whatever. So maybe I'll add an image to this slide. I can also edit with AI the entire slide. So I can find one of my factual slides and I can click edit with AI. And now I can ask the AI to do um, whatever I want to the slide really. So I might just say, make more fun, a bit like we did with the text. So we should do this the whole slide now. So it's done that for me. It's made it, uh, added some emojis. It's changed some of the wording. It's just tried to make it a bit more engaging. Again, if there's anything I don't like, I don't want this emoji, I can just go in and delete it. Next thing I can do is differentiate it. So if I click differentiate slide, I can choose support, core or challenge. And now to put that in, in context for you, support will add more context around the slides. So it'll add more slides in and increase the, um, the breadcrumbing of the information. Core may keep it quite similar to where it is. I'd say most lessons come at core as a as standard or challenge will advance on the information on the slide and get go into more and more detail um, for the students. So if I click challenge and create new slide. It may create one slide, it may create two slides, it may even add questions in, whatever the AI thinks is the most appropriate way to challenge the student. So we can see I've gone from one slide of why it's, too, why it's so hot and then it's added in more detail of the planet. So clearly it's going into a lot of depth more than it would normally do um, when generating lesson. And so um, the other really great thing about Edit with AI is you can just expand content. So I can take this quite complex uh, topic about slow spin and I can ask it to split it into three slides and um, if I want to put something specific in there, I can, or the AI will just expand this content even further so that you can spend more time on a particular piece of the lesson. Um, so you can see it's not only has it expanded um, the detail of the slide, it's also gone into why it spins backwards and then added in a question, a question for the uh, class to discuss with a suggested answer. Okay, so now you can see I'm building my lesson. I've gone from the 14 slides I started with, I'm now up to maybe 20, uh, 21, 22 slides. So I'm not done that. So in my class, I want to add some activities in. So I'm going to ask the uh, AI to add me a vocab matching um, activity at the end, which I can um, use to test some of the knowledge of the students. And I'm also going to add some uh, true or false questions in there, but I'm going to make them difficult for uh, sort of an expansion exercise for the class. Okay, great. So it's done all of that for me. Um, I'm up to sort of 25 slides or so, um, and that's my lesson. A couple of things you should know. If you don't like the theme you chose, click the theme button at the top and just change it. We've got all our themes here, so I, I can maybe change this whole um, whole theme to storm, make it a little bit more simple. You can share the lesson with anyone uh, you want. Just invite them by email or click the uh, link. You can also uh, choose if um, anyone the link can, can view it or if only those you invite directly. Um, you can export the lesson on Google Slides, PowerPoint, PDF, and you can present from in Chalky. So it just looks exactly like you might get with your uh, Google Slides presentation. Um, and that's my slides built in what took me less than a couple minutes to make that lesson and edit it. Now, if there's something you want to do 
uh, with the lesson completely. So let's say this lesson's great, but you want to make maybe a differentiated version of it, a little more support in there. So I can actually click edit prompt and it will um, copy the prompt into an entire new uh, lesson, or this is a series. And then I can just go and change everything from scratch and regenerate everything from the beginning. So you've got a lot of options for editing your lessons. You've got a lot of options for differentiating the slide content in there, editing the slides with AI, but most importantly, you stay in control and you can either do it yourself, lean on the AI, mix and match, whatever works for you.